Hey, hey, this is your boy the duck coming at you with another little video for you. This is something that I see a lot being talked about on the YouTubes and I just kind of want to throw my opinion into the, into the ring here. How do we bring new shooters into the community? You know, and this is something that you see a lot of on, on YouTube and talked about on social media is, you know, how do we grow the community? First off, one of the, one of the big things that I see is just be welcoming. You know, realize that you did not come out of the womb. You did not come out of your mama knowing how to pull a trigger. All right. And I'm a firm believer, especially men. You know, we always, our egos drive everything we do. And I've joked for years. There's three things you can never teach a man. How to shoot, how to drive, and how to, <clears throat> with your woman. All right. And the reality of it is, we can probably learn something about all three. All right. But all bullshit aside. Shooting a gun is one of those things that we had to put time in. We had to learn it. And sometimes, again, being so ego-driven, you know, we're, we're, we're so standoffish, you know, with people that, you know, they show up to the range and, and I'm guilty of it. You know, I talk shit on Tauruses. I talk shit on different guns. But you know what? I'll still show somebody how to shoot with a Taurus. You know, I'll show them, hey, you know, consider doing this with your grip or, you know, hey, you know, check this out. And that's one of the best things you can do. When you're at the range, if you are, you know, somebody who's confident with what you're doing, work the crowd, you know, make some friends, you know, create connections with people. You know, a lot of people, you know, we go to the range and we're so focused on what we're doing, you know, and especially if you got cool guns, you know, I am lucky enough, I am blessed enough, whatever you want to call it, to have some really cool guns in my collection. You know, I got guns that literally, you know, some people consider those holy grail guns. You know, like, you know, I've been shooting the Nighthawk a lot. You know, I got Nighthawk Agent 2. I mean, these are guns that people go on, you know, YouTube and they watch videos of and they're like, maybe one day, you know, and, they're, and they're, they're, there's these holy grail style guns. And that's not me trying to brag. Please don't take it that way. But because I know I have guns that people are going to be like, you know, hey, you know, Oh man, I'd love to, you know, one day, you want to shoot it? Hey man, here's a magazine. Put a couple rounds through it. See what you think. You know, and I love, love doing that with people and just seeing the smile from ear to ear on somebody who shoots a quality 1911. You know, 1911s especially are one of those guns that are Americana. They have such, such pop culture behind them. And most people shoot shitty ones. You know, they shoot shitty tea sauces, you know, Rock Islands, you know, they're, they're shooting some shitty low-end 1911. And don't get me wrong, they get the job done, but there's something different when you're shooting a hand fit, you know, like I remember the first time one of my buddies shot my Alchemy Quantico, and he was just like, damn, this is nice. And he shot tons of, he owns 1911s, tons of 96s, Springfields, Kimbers, but he shot that Alchemy and it was like, Oh my God, this is the first time I've ever shot a 1911. And I mean, it was just, it was such an experience for him. And, and that's something that I, I don't see enough. And especially I get it. Ammo's expensive. Do I want to be throwing everybody at the range? Here's, you know, eight rounds to shoot through my gun. No. And I get that, but don't be stingy. All right. Reality of it is, you know, build the community, you know, and, and that would be one of the biggest things that I see a lot, you know, just kind of when you go to the range, make friends, you know, network with people. And, and again, if you have guns that, you know, hey, you know, I got the new such and such, you know, you want to try it out? Hell yeah, I've been watching videos on that. Yeah, try it out. See what you like, see what you don't like. All right, it's a good way to, you know, kind of, you know, help people kind of find what maybe their little niche is. And that's the other thing I would say. Don't be so solid on what you shoot that you don't recognize there's other great things in the world too. You know, and I see this a lot, you know, like with, you see the AR versus AK, you know, AK guys, you know, always want to talk shit on AR guys and vice versa. Who cares? You know, Glock and Smith and Wesson, you know, I don't like Glocks, you know, Glocks are a piece of shit, you know, whatever. You know, 1911s, 1911s are one of those polarizing guns, you know, and I get it, you know, people get, you know, emotional over different things and whatever, you know, but at the end of the day, just be happy someone's willing to join the community. 
And if they are willing to, to have you be that first person of, con you know, that point of contact with the community, don't make us look bad. You know, I joke in my concealed classes, you know, shooters are typically represented by active shooters and dumbasses on YouTube that shoot themselves. All right, when people think of people with guns that aren't in the gun community, that's what they think of. People that go into schools and shoot nine-year-olds and that dumbass who's trying to quick draw and shoots himself in the leg. Or that idiot, you know, years ago, there was that D, I think it was a DEA agent. I'm sure one of you guys will correct me if I'm wrong. There was a DEA agent doing a, you know, school presentation on firearms and he shoots himself in the damn foot. You know, and that's what people think of when they think of the gun community. You know, they don't realize that we're the, you know, the sheepdogs of the community. We're the ones out there building, you know, safer environments for people. And, and again, be welcoming, bring more people into that. And just because someone's not willing to dedicate every Saturday to go into the range and, and, you know, shooting 500 rounds a week and all that, who cares? Still welcome them in, bring them into the community. All right. Because again, we are just that a community and we need all the little skills and different, you know, levels and, you know, bringing, you know, your, your women into the shooting, you know, that's, that could be a whole nother video, but, but just quickly on that, I mean, stop trying to make your girls look stupid. I freaking hate when I see these videos of some hillbilly redneck with his drunk buddies, giving a goddamn hundred pound soaking wet female, a shotgun loaded with three and a half inch Magnum rounds. No. Now that girl's gonna knock on her ass and she's never gonna wanna shoot a gun again. And now you've just ruined somebody who could have been part of our community. And I see it all the time in concealed classes where somebody, oh yeah, you know, my dad gave me a, a 300 Win Mag to shoot and beat the shit out of me. And oh, you know, I, I'm not, I don't know about this. You know, stop doing that. You know, don't give a first time shooter a Desert freaking Eagle or a Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum to freaking shoot. You know, come on, be smart. Don't that. And that's dangerous. I mean, let's, let's even talk about that. There's been people that, you know, have shot these guns and the recoil comes back and smacks them in the head. And, you know, we love watching the videos and ha ha ha. It's funny. I think that's reckless and stupid. All right. So don't do that to people. All right. Whether it's a kid, whether it's a, a female, don't do that. Or some, you know, wimpy little string bean child, you know, whatever. Don't do that to people. All right. We need to build this community and, and that's how we're going to stay strong. You know, the Second Amendment community is one of the most attacked communities in this country. I'm not, I'm not trying to get all political here, but that is a reality, you know, and sometimes we are our own worst enemy in that, you know, instead, let's build a community. Let's stop being exclusionary of everybody else who doesn't understand what we're doing. We, it's like religion. You don't have to shove it down people's throats and you need to understand not everybody believes what you believe. All right. But when they are maybe a little bit curious, maybe a little bit, hey, you know, what do you, well, I was thinking about buying a gun. You know what? Hey, this Saturday, let's go to the range. I'd love to take you out. I got a couple guns you can shoot, have some fun, see what you think, you know, kind of rebuild, you know, your, your thought process here. All right. And that's how we build this community. And that's what we need to be focused on. So again, I hope that makes sense with everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day, being safe. This is your boy, the duck saying, be safe, quack, quack. And We'll see you in the next video.